So I Must Cry Out Loud uh, began with my friend John, uh, John Hadfield. He's kind of like a creative comrade of mine, where he'll send me something and I'll be like, nah, the rhyme could be better, and I'll send him something and he'll be like, try an F minor instead, that kind of relationship. And um, this one day he sends me an instrumental guitar piece uh, that was titled, I Must Cry Out Loud. There's no words, but it had this title, uh, which I found to be very powerful. And so I says to John, like, why don't you write a song with these words at the center of everything? And so he does, and uh, he sends it to me, and it's great. And then we move on. And down the road, I'm, I'm meditating, because at the time of writing this record, I was meditating a lot, actually, just to open up the creative channels. I find that to be a pretty good tool to do so. And so I'm in the zone, and these words, I must cry out loud, kind of land on my psyche, really loud and proud. And um, during the meditation, I kind of sculpt this uh, epic uh, track one. And um, I come to, and it's all pretty clear in front of me. I just kind of need to get uh, with an instrument to work it out. So I come down here and uh, go to this piano, the very piano that you hear on the record, and it has a great mute pedal, makes it sound kind of dead and chalky. Played it for John, and John approved, and we had an opening track. Now. 